want to go to Pride, and I can't. It's not because I live in a place where there is no pride or open hostility to the LGBTQ plus community. I happen to live in a very progressive place with a large, openly queer population. But here's the thing. When I start looking at our pride celebrations and events, they're just simply inaccessible to a large number of disabilities. Use a wheelchair? Well, we're going to put you in a special area to watch the parade. It has no shade, and it is so hot outside, so make sure you drink lots of water. Oh, by the way, we put you as far away from the portable toilets as possible, quite literally, and honestly, reports indicate the portable toilets aren't particularly accessible anyways. And make sure you don't bother local businesses by trying to use their bathrooms. Also, you can't bring water with you, so be sure to buy small $5 bottles from vendors. Maybe you're a person who is sensitive to heat and can't walk or stand for much time at all, but you don't have access to a wheelchair or disability parking for some reason. Hi, is me. Well, you gotta park real far away. Like, miles away. Good luck even making it to the event. But, if you do, shout out to the besties who drop friends off and then park and walk over on their own. Try and find somewhere to sit. I dare you. Again, no water allowed unless you're willing to spend an arm and a leg on it. Okay, cool, maybe we'll just go to Pride events adjacent to the main one, but like, at local businesses. Oh, it's insanely loud. There's not actually an access ramp. It has a step even though the website says it's wheelchair accessible. There's tons of flashing lights and there's still not seating. And you still gotta buy water. What is it with these people and their $5 bottles of water? I've been around and around and around trying to research if there were any Pride events near me that I could safely participate in, and the sad reality is, there just isn't. I love the queer community and I love being part of it, but I hate being excluded from our celebrations and protests just because my body doesn't function as well as other people's. I would love to see some more inclusive Pride events for those of us who need a quieter space with less people, or need an accessible indoor space, for example. But I would try to brave the crowds and the draining heat if the big pride celebration itself was just more accessible to my physical limitations. Here's where the Minecraft part hits. My favorite pride event this year was MCC Pride. I felt so much more included and seen just by watching recordings of people's streams. The absolute warmth and joy that exuded from MCC Pride felt like a hug that I didn't get anywhere else. The knowledge that I could participate just by being there watching, and also that the events that were happening for MCC were something that I could feasibly do myself, was honestly so huge, even as someone who obviously wasn't an active participant. And the biggest part of my queer community is the server I play on. It's a small, incredibly inclusive server, and we can hang out and enjoy each other's company, be there for each other, and do fun events with each other, while on opposite sides of the planet with nothing but a screen to connect us. It feels like a family brought together by a number of common interests and held together by kindness and openness. And the internet. Which, in a lot of ways, is the point of Pride to me, whether in June or throughout the year. It's finding that community where being ourselves is not a barrier to being accepted. Online spaces, by nature, tend to be a lot more accessible for people with a wide range of disabilities or general struggles with functioning in the world at large. But a big part of that is simply the attitudes of the people who build those spaces and their desire to include people. I think a lot of people in the real world could learn from the inclusivity of certain parts of the internet. It's important to remember that your community doesn't only consist of the people who can easily and visibly thrive, and to reach out an inviting and helpful hand to those who get more lost in the shadows. To the friends watching Pride events from behind the barriers, whatever those may be, we're all here together. Take all the warmth and love and kindness you need. And to the friends hearing this who are able to be at these events, look around you. Check for those who got left behind and try and do the work to open the door for as many of us as you can. We'd love to be there with you.